I hold myself to an extremely high standard of things. I should put a little asterisk on that because there are some things in my life that I really let slide on occasion, but for the things that I'm really into or really spending a lot of energy on, I do hold myself to a very high standard. And that's all fine and dandy. It leads me to do good things. It leads me to create good stuff. It leads me to perform well at whatever task that I'm doing in that situation, but it does have a bit of a drawback. Bottom line, I put a whole lot of pressure on myself, and sometimes that pressure comes in the form of expecting me to be perfect. And to be honest, that's silly because that doesn't exist. For as long as I can remember, I have always wanted to be the best. What does that mean? It means being better than everyone, ever. It's what that means. And I also leave that vague on purpose because I wanna be the best at literally everything that I do. Always have, always will. I'm incredibly competitive as a person. For a while growing up, it was a me versus this person sort of a thing, and I do slip into that on occasion, but I think I've evolved it into something else equally as harmful personally, where I'm in a competition with myself. And that's a bit silly, right? Because you can never finish above yourself, right? Because that's not, that's not how life works. You're not racing yourself. You're not really racing anyone. You're just kind of living and doing stuff. Like I said before, this attitude leads me to do good work. It motivates me to give it my all in these various scenarios and things that I do. It leads me to do good stuff. But it always leaves me in a situation where I feel kind of empty, like I could have done more. I could have done better in some ways, like I'm not good enough. This happens to me a whole lot on YouTube in particular, but in all parts of my life, but we're gonna talk about YouTube because that's where we are right now. Recently, I've been accused of being preachy on YouTube, and I kinda have been a little bit preachy on YouTube, and that's fine, that's whatever. Being preachy is okay, I feel like, as long as you're preaching the right things. If you're preaching the wrong things, stop, but if you're preaching the right things, go ahead. But that's a role I've always struggled with. I'm not good at being the head of the room, directing everyone and saying, here's how we do stuff, here's how we solve problems. That's not where I'm good at. Ironically, I'm at my best when everything is the worst. When everything is falling apart, when there's a situation, when something's going wrong, that's when I'm at my best because I'm more of a pick up the pieces, put the puzzle back together kind of a person because I do that a lot in my own life and I've become quite effective at it, I feel like. But I have dabbled in narcissism a bit in my 21 years of existence and when I get at the front of the room, when I start being preachy and I start saying things, I kind of believe in my head that I am right that I am better than people, and that is not productive, really, ever, especially for me. Because given that I hold myself to this incredibly high standard, when I'm at the front of the room and I'm thinking I'm better than people, I am under an extreme amount of pressure that I am putting on myself, and it hurts me, doesn't help me, and it doesn't help the people who I'm trying to help, for sure. It's a theme, definitely, on this channel, that it's okay to not be number one, to not be 100% and on all the time, because no one is on all the time. We're all messes here and there, and I'm a mess a lot of the time. And that's more than okay, because to be honest, that's when I'm at my best. That's when I'm the most effective at whatever the, this thing is that we're doing right now, is when I'm a mess. When it comes to myself, when it comes to the people in my life, my favorite thing to do, my favorite thing about being alive, is helping solve a problem, a personal problem, whether that's my problem, or whether that's a problem of a friend. And by solve the problem, I don't mean fix the situation, because a lot of times you can't fix situations. Situations are just bad. What I do mean is that we strengthen the person, you know, in that chaos, in that mess. That's what I'm good at. You know, I'm good at it with myself and figuring things out. I'm not always successful, but I'm really good at writing things out. <laughs> the reason that I made this video today is because recently I have been feeling a ton of pressure and it's pressure that I've been putting on myself. It's stuff going on in my head and it's not helping me. I am not a voice of a generation. I am not a preacher at the front of the room telling everyone how to think and how to live. That's not who I am. That's never who I'm gonna be. I am a mess. I am a screw up. I am a emotional creature who is gonna continue to flop and flounder here and there, but that's ironically, when I am at my best and when I can help the most people. That's pretty much all I have to say about that subject, I guess. Yeah, if you wanna like share stories or more conversation in the comments, I absolutely love it so much. But uh, yeah, as always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye. <laughs>